friends thank you so much for continuing to journey through this week studying about the favor of god and today uh, i want to talk about how we can respond in our moments of favor we've already looked at the fact that we can have continual favor from god when we walk right when we host his presence then again there are these special moments the way we uh, saw in the life of joseph where he meets with um, uh, the the baker with the cup bearer and you know god exalts him there are special times when a uh, ruth meets with boaz and similarly when esther is picked so there are moments as well in our lives very special and defining moments when these moments occur in our lives how do we deal with what god is doing uh, in us and for us and i just want to share a couple of things the first thing is that we must exercise wisdom now in the moments of favor it's very easy for us to get carried away and think that everything is happening because of who we are or our greatness but we know for a fact that yes our effort is important but god is positioning us according to his purposes and he is doing something for the greater and the larger impact for his kingdom so we must never lose our uh, perspective the right perspective so use wisdom in moments of favor and remember that it is god who is working on our behalf now the second thing is obedience god positions us uh, but we must be obedient think about ruth you know if she were not to take that step to move forward with naomi if she were to be stuck in the past and if she were to keep complaining about all the things that had gone wrong she would have had a different future but she was obedient to the impression in her heart and even when boaz came her way she was instructed by naomi and she was obedient to the instruction so god in our moments of favor speaks to us let us be obedient to what god is telling us to do let us move the way god is showing us to move and when we are obedient we will uh, you know completely grasp and take a hold of or, or get a grip on what god is doing in our lives we will not miss out on it so let us be obedient in our moments of favor and sometimes these are just moments and we have to act quickly we have to act immediately even uh, about esther you know her moment of favor came when she was picked up but one of the things that you observe in the life of esther is that she gave herself to preparation so in our lives you know though we are not seeing that special moment arrive yet we are in preparation for that moment and esther is a great example she waited and waited uh, and and she did the right thing she prepared herself and finally that moment of favor came and she was able to step into the destiny for her life so preparation is helpful when we talk about the moments of favor that you and i come into and finally courage have courage when god moves things around he begins to position us it's going to take courage to say yes god i am willing to labor i'm willing to uh, to strive to trust and to do all that you have called me to do let's pray together heavenly father we pray that lord you will lead us oh god in these moments of favor that lord you will uh, enable us to recognize father god yes lord the the time of your visitation lord those moments of favor that you choose to position us for greater things lord uh, we we commit ourselves god yes father god speak to us strengthen us help us to understand and recognize in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.